Okay, I have the forklift motor here, and I have the flywheel and the clutch and the stub axle assembly over here and now I'm going to um, bolt them together and I made these hubs uh, for each here's the shaft that's coming out of the uh, forklift motor there's a key here and another key back here sticking out I also drilled a two quarter inch holes all the way through the shaft Here's the stub axle coming out of the uh, clutch and flywheel assembly and I have two long keys here. It's another shot of the uh, stub axle with the long keys. Okay, here's the, I'm going to call it a coupler hub. This one mounts onto the uh, forklift motor shaft. You see I have two holes drilled all the way through. And this one mounts onto the uh, stub axle. You see that I have that cut out for those two long keys. And then the uh, quarter inch long, quarter inch wide uh, bolts are going to go all the way through and then I'm going to bolt them here so this fits on there like that this fits it on here like this okay what I did is uh, cut a slot out here and these are going to be flush when they're in there Okay, so it's forklift motor, stub axle, and then the long bolts go all the way through, and the, they'll come out here and I'll put some nuts on them here. Here's the coupler hub on the uh, forklift motor. Here's the coupler hub on the uh, stub axle of the flywheel and clutch assembly. Here's the uh, both of the couplers bolted together onto the forklift motor. Now I'm going to take that and I have this sitting on top of a five gallon bucket and I'm going to slide that in there. Okay, there's the flywheel, stub axle assembly, there's the coupler hub, there's the forklift motor held together by these half inch steel uh, threaded rods. Here's another shot of it. Okay. I'm going to do some adjustment. I got it together. It, was, it wasn't easy, but I got it together. So I'm going to take it apart and uh, do some adjustments on it and then permanently put it together.